What's up everybody? It's Dubby and I'm back here with part two of the Green Bay doubles on mini scheme. And the first one did so well, I need to get 200 likes on this one before I drop the third volume. And this is one of my favorite plays. Last year it was dominant in SPA stutter post. It's still good this year, but they did nerf the slot post. It's not as dominant. It doesn't kill every zone. It goes a little too deep. But the main thing that still kills in this play is the crossing route from the lone wide receiver. And ideally, that's what you want to throw every time you call this play is the pass to B most of the time and hit it because no zone will cover it when it comes on the other side of the field. Now, I like to put my running back on the delay route. That way, you know, you can hit the check downs and make them start playing short or putting more people in coverage. That way you can hit the big route. Here we go. It's just man coverage. And you see he just torches Janoris Jenkins. That's Muhammad Sanu on Janoris Jenkins. Speed matchup was bad, but we still won because the route is that good. And I like to put the baby in route on X. That way you have another pressure release to make them play more zones, bring them down closer to the line, and that way you can hit the big play. And here we go. The protection holds up. Man to man again. And you see what this post route does to what, what was it? Cover one, man coverage. Julio Jones in the slot just dominates. Here we go again, the same thing, I can buy a little bit of time. You see how wide open B is on the other side of the field. That time I put X on a streak to take the deep blue away. Now we're on the other hash mark, just shows you that this play doesn't, isn't hash mark dependent. And that time we find the post route deep down the field because we put the tight end on a streak to take the deep blues away. Now you can run this play a multitude of different ways, but ideally what I want to do is throw B. That's the person I want to throw the ball to and that's who I want to hit. But you always have somebody on the play as a pressure release and here you go cover two you put the streak on that side just to take the deep blues all the way down the field and B will have a giant crevice you can throw the ball to once again this is pressure you have the in route you have Y you have B they're all open and we hit Julio Jones deep down the field for another big play with a great pass protection in this year's game this is a play with two crossing routes that can really help you out and here we go with another baby in route I put for pressure. When they bring pressure, man coverage, hit the in route, your check down. Make them pay for bringing, bringing a lot of pressure on you. Once again, baby check down. We didn't have enough time to look for the deep routes. That's why I like the delay route and the baby in route. Well, here we go again. There's no route on the other side of the field, but this is still wide open. I'm telling you, this is a route that can get you big plays, 20, 30 yards a pop. For A lot of people are sitting in coverage now, and this is a play that can give you many options to throw the ball for big plays. Once again, B, open down the field. Now this is me in some gameplay, making it work. Here we go, B, another baby in route. That was flipped that time. That's why I hit the in route on that side. And here we go, I'm gonna do a little motion, but I still wanna hit B. Remember, no matter what I do, I wanna hit B. Well, this time, I actually set up for Y. He manned it up, and I hit Julio Jones kills the man coverage right down the middle of the field get us in scoring position here's another one because I streaked the tight end but sometimes people pay so much attention to you know the, the in routes the crossing routes when you streak the tight end this is why I have Ingram he's fast and if you fall asleep play cover two cover two invert anything and don't pay attention to the tight end you can give up a big play touchdown to a speedy tight end like Ingram here we go like I said the delay route you bring pressure Give it to Tevin Coleman. Make a play. Like I said, jukes and spins are dominant, so get your player the ball. And here we go. Look, you see, boom. Sometimes you don't got to wait. You can hit it deep over the middle. If their alert comes down on the in route, you can hit that, you know, 20 yards right across the middle of the field. And this time I go streak and baby curl and playmaker it over. So he has to run with it, and we hit X. You know, anything to keep their, their lurk away from that guy that you want to hit as in B is great. So I go in route, I go baby curl, drag, running back delay. You have to have something to check down to if their user takes away that crossing route. But ideally, when you call this play, you want to hit the crossing route. All right, like I said, I need 200 likes for the PA stutter post play. And I'll go ahead and drop the third installment. When I first started this YouTube, I was like, you know, Green Bay doubles isn't going to be my main formation this year. I'm going to find something else. But over the last couple days, I've really been using it. And I think it's really dominant, the different things I'm doing. And I'll be breaking down play by play. Probably This is probably going to be a 10 part, 12 part, you know, series on the Green Bay doubles. So like I said, 200 likes, 
hit the sub, hit the comments, everything y'all like. I really appreciate it. We're going to keep it flowing. Need.